Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at draw orders in AutoCAD. This is the order that objects are drawn, letting you see or not see objects that may be above or below another object within the drawing. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys how you can actually control your draw orders by a layer. Uh, this is not technically available in all versions of AutoCAD, but it is available in a ton, and I'm going to show you which ones and a bit of a workaround there to make things a lot easier. Let's jump right into today's video and get started. <laughs> All right, so starting out, draw order in AutoCAD controls the order in which objects are drawn, starting from the bottom and working your way up. Now, this takes and has an effect on how your drawing is going to plot, and you can see an example of this here. Uh, probably the most common way or uh, case where this comes up is with hatching within AutoCAD. Uh, you can see here that I have a hatch for each of my kind of room areas. Maybe you're using them in an architectural style, uh, or if you're using civil, maybe you're hatching properties or areas of interest. However you're using hatch or other objects within AutoCAD, the draw order is going to make a big difference when you go to plot it. Having your hatches in the front is going to obscure all of the line work and text below it. You can see here that even in the drawing, it's hard to see them, and when I select this, the hatch is in front, whereas in this one here, the text is clearly in front as well as the line work for the electrical. Now, in general, you can control draw order in AutoCAD pretty easily by simply selecting any of the objects you want to change and right clicking. You're going to get the draw order uh, option here in your right click menu. You're going to have the options to bring the object to the front, send it to the back, bring it above a specific object you select, or send it below a specific object you select. In general, you're going to be sending things to the back to get rid of them. So in our case, we're gonna send the hatch to the back. You can now see that the line work is all above or in front of that hatch, but that's not the case for the other ones. So you can quickly select them all and send them all to the back, uh, but there's actually a few cool tricks. And before we get to how to manage these with your layers, uh, I'm gonna show you these kind of fast track options to save you time within AutoCAD. So the first one is you can type in text to front. So T-E-X-T, T-O, and then front. It auto completed there and it's going to ask you uh, if you want to bring all of the text dimensions or leaders or all of it to the front of the drawing typically you're going to want all of it to come to the front and you can see it's now made all of our text come to the front of the hatch and all of the other objects now this is a great command to know in general you're going to want to use text to front pretty often especially before you plot drawings this ensures all of your text is in front of the objects in your drawing and easily readable it's very rare that you would want your text behind objects um, especially if you want them to be readable on your plan or drawing now the other command since you can see this did bring the text to the front but in a lot of the cases, it will not bring your line work or objects in front of a hatch. Now, another command that is a cool one to know and a time saver is hatch to back. Now, this is going to do exactly what it says. It's going to send your hatches to the back of the drawing. Now, you may not always want this, especially if, say, you're in civil design and you have an ortho or imagery. You don't necessarily want your hatching to go behind the imagery, but this can be helpful. You can send all of your hatches to the back and then select the overall image and send it to the back, putting it behind the hatches, but both will now be behind all of your line work or, say, labels and contours. So those two commands are huge ones to know when dealing with draw order. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Next up, we're gonna talk about draw order by layer within AutoCAD. But before we do that, I wanna remind everybody, if you haven't already checked it out, my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflow course is available for instant download. You can check it out at the link up above and down below. It's discounted for viewers and subscribers such as yourself. And if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for my free AutoCAD newsletter, the CAD Intentions newsletter. Gets sent out weekly with tips and videos just like this as well as additional content for premium subscribers again you can check that out 
at the link down below the CAD Intentions newsletter. All right, so jumping back to draw order by layer. Now, I don't understand why this hasn't been a feature in AutoCAD since the beginning. Almost every design, graphic design, GIS software orders things by layer. GIS, you can drag your layers above and below others to change the display order. Same as, say, Photoshop or even video editing. Dragging your layers across the timeline is going to allow you to decide and show which is above and below another layer. Within AutoCAD, this is all controlled simply by that draw order uh, right click option where you can send it to the back or bring it to the front. However, a few years ago, a new command was added to the AutoCAD architectural plugin, which you can see here is available on Autodesk website. And if you have AutoCAD, it is included. So you can download this plugin. If you're in architecture or architectural style drawings, like say floor plans, I'd highly recommend this plugin in general. It's got a ton of extra components, objects, blocks, that kind of stuff, as well as things built specifically for say dimensioning out floor plans. But it also has that layer command that I'm talking about. So we're going to switch over to AutoCAD architectural here. And you can see that again, I've got these same example drawings and we're going to type in layer order. And that's the command here. And it's going to open a window on my other screen, but you can see here, I can now adjust my display order by any layer in the drawing. So I've got all of these areas hatched and they're on an area hatch layer. So if I bring this to the front and just click preview, you can see that automatically all of my hatches are in front of all of the other objects because they are on the other layers. Now, if I don't like that, I can hit enter here since I just previewed it. And I can now adjust where each layer plots in order of top to bottom. So if I want the hatches always on the bottom, I'm gonna move it all the way to the bottom using this down arrow here and hit okay. You can see that it is automatically sent all of my hatches to the back and now I don't have to worry about hatch order or draw order accidentally becoming out of whack or if I add new objects I know that my hatch layer is at the back and as long as I keep it there objects are always going to be drawn at the back uh, this is a great feature I don't understand why this isn't in every version of AutoCAD but so far I've found that it is in AutoCAD architecture and it's in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Uh, many of the newer versions, I think since around 2018 or 2019, it's been in both. So if you guys don't have it, make sure you check out AutoCAD architecture if that's the type of work you do or Autodesk Civil 3D if that's more the style of work. This command is in both and I think you guys should definitely check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you use this? Uh, do you like the draw order system as it is? Uh, or did you already know about this command? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one. Cheers.